One of the most efficient methods of transmitting mechanical energy is by the use of a roller chain. This device is so common in our lives today that we scarcely take a moment to consider its origin, much less how it works or how it's produced. It was conceived by Italian artist Leonardo da Vinci and much later realized by Hans Renald of Switzerland, who was credited for its invention in 1880. Today we manufacture miles of roller chain every year to be used in anything from bicycles to the space shuttle crawler. Pairs of steel chain plates are connected through bearing cartridges that allow them to freely lace around sprockets while efficiently transferring tension energy from one link to the next. The bearing cartridge is the key element in the assembly and must pivot freely with a minimal amount of clearance between the mating components. Thousands of these bearing cartridges are made every week and the manufacturer needed a way to quickly and accurately check the internal clearances. These regions are completely inaccessible post-production, so I cut one apart to study it and start dreaming up a machine that could measure the inside from the outside. Specifically, the inside diameter of this bushing relative to the outside diameter of the pin. The end journals are laser welded to the pin and this is where I saw my opportunity. I decided to make a pneumatic vise that would grip the bushings and V-blocks making a stationary reference in the assembly. Just outside of the V-blocks I placed linear motion sensors where they come in contact with the end journals, which are welded to the pin, which passes through the inside diameter of the bushings that are rigidly clamped in the V-blocks. Between the V-blocks I centered two small air cylinders above and below the roller so I could effectively push the pin up and down through the total range of clearance it has inside of the bushings. I packaged the system in an elegant skin giving the user clear view of the testing process and ergonomic access to the touchscreen control center. Optical sensors detect when a cartridge has arrived and the PLC opens a gate so it can proceed to the testing station. Another set of optical sensors triggers the machine to clamp the cartridge in the vise. When the cartridge is in the clamped position, the fixed ends of the pin have already engaged the linear motion sensors. The upper cylinder punches the cartridge downward to the extreme range of its travel and the linear motion sensor's position is recorded. The lower cylinder forces the cartridge in the opposite direction and the PLC compares the two measurements. The results are recorded and displayed on the touchscreen for the process engineer to monitor and make any necessary adjustments to the manufacturing process upstream. I conceived, developed, and produced two of these machines at the same time to have interchangeable components making them adaptable to test a variety of roller chain bearing cartridges. They have an LED illuminated visual inspection station for the user to verify that every cartridge has been properly oiled in the manufacturing process. My quality control test machines are integrated into the assembly line receiving roller chain bearing cartridges directly from the last machine in the manufacturing process. Overall, I found this project very rewarding because it challenged my creativity and I was able to make a contribution to American prosperity.